As soon as I stumbled across it first, in honor of Steve D, I'm on BuzzFeed. Thank you. Secondly, as soon as I as soon as I saw it, SJ Geek Sean instantly popped in mind and Cody. This is a double, this is a triple whammy, okay? Ooh. I fulfill Steve D fulfillment of BuzzFeed. I hit off Sean because it's Star Wars, and I hit off Cody Cooper because it's kid related. Okay. Do that one. Um it is uh, basically like T-shirts kind of thing, or you could do them as wall art in the room even. It's evil Star Wars characters as kids. <laughs> um, it has like Bubba the Fett eating an ice, um, sorry, Jabba, Jabba the Hutt eating an ice cream cone, Bubba Fett with like a balloon kind of thing. Um, ha- of Han Solo <laughs> in, in the freaking carbon. <laughs> that is is awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then it has Darth... Vader with a magnifying glass burning the little bots. <laughs> and then who's this last one? That sand is a sand that's person. A sand people. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's horrible. He's but smashing yeah. a pinata. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just man. good stuff. And I will also add Bubba Fett has a water gun. The Bubba Fett one is the best, where he's holding a Han Solo in a balloon in carbonite. Or no, what is that stuff? Well, I don't that? know. I think yeah. it's, it's a bubble. Carbonite, it's a yeah. bubble gun, not water. It's shooting so, bubbles. I want to put that yeah. in my kids' room. That's so sweet. Job of the Hut. What is he holding over there? Um, it's like a doll, I guess. It's hard to tell. There's something in water. Oh, it's like he's got a bag. You know how you bring goldfish home? He's got some kind of creature in like a bag of water. <laughs> Like a squid looking thing. That's awesome. Nice. Oh, it's Princess it's a doll of Princess Leah. That's what it is. I think. <laughs> yes, it is. You're right. Good call. And he has a t shirt on all you can eat. Uh it's a buffet. Sweet. <laughs> a buffet. <laughs> oh man, my stomach again. <laughs> all right. That's awesome, Dor. Thank you, Dor, and thank you, BuzzFeed. Yes. All right, Eric. Um, I gotta say, my next two posts have uh, something to do with Facebook. They made some major changes this week. I don't know if anybody's checked out their Facebook page. I I really haven't. I've heard about the I changes. Heard about... I, I don't do Facebook anymore. It's all Google Plus. And I, I, the only reason I ever got on Facebook was because a lot of friends kind of told me they're like, oh, "You got to be on Facebook." We're on Facebook, and and then I tried to play a game and I had to sign into something and give up a bunch of rights. So I never did. And this is about all I had, <laughs> but this is what happens when your parents get on Facebook and they decide, so it's your birthday and this is their big idea, your 18th birthday. And they decide to show all your friends on your wall, how you, how you got to be 18 and where the hotel room was. And here's them high fiving each other and in front of the door oh, of the no. hotel room where you were conceived on oh your my wall God. for all your friends. They saved that? That is so awesome. Oh, oh I'm sorry. It's 34 years ago, not 18. Now, anyway. when, they did, when they did this, do you think that they – what do you think went through their minds? Were they trying bet, to get, make them embarrassed? I don't think so. I would ha- yeah. I would have yeah, to. Why, have, why else would you go them. back to that spot and do that? Yeah, I would do it. Oh, yeah, to embarrass them, yeah, but there's no other reason to go to back to the door of the hotel <laughs> and do that. <laughs> Unless it was maybe their honeymoon and it happened, which probably not. It was probably, the, they, they know when to wear. <laughs> That's pretty old. Where the I know when to wear for my two, you know. <laughs> I love pictures that still have that time and date code in them. Where the magic <laughs> happened 34 yeah. years ago. I always wow. remember those cameras too. You know, you have to change the double A batteries in them. If you, it's just, they're just so awesome. <laughs> they make the noise when you're done taking the picture. You're like, what the heck is that? <laughs> oh, so they are winding. That's awesome. Yeah, this is cool. Good for the parents. Oh, I'm so happy my parents never did that. <laughs> I just, I just joined Facebook again uh, last week. Uh, so, I feel sorry for you. Well, it was actually the nuts at night thing that spurred me on uh, uh, because I wanted to make sure I had Facebook.com slash pod nuts. <laughs> that's pretty much one of almost the exclusive reason why. But well, yeah. I tell you what, breaking me in on Google Plus, you guys, it's like I've, I'm like, all right, well, 
Facebook does have, have some value, I think, for me. So, um, yeah, I, I bought an ad um, for my business, the Silicon Wrench, and they like, well, we need to make a Silicon Wrench uh, Facebook page for you. I'm like, well, if you're going to do it for me, then go ahead. I'm not going to do it. And <laughs> Who said now, this? You mean the Facebookers? <laughs> No, the, it, was a, it was a television ad huh. place, and they're like, "Well, you got to have a Facebook page if you're going to have a business." I'm like, "We'll make it for you." I'm like, All right, "Okay, that's fine." So now I get an email. It's like, "Well, you need to have 25 people like your business within the next 30 days, or is they going to take it off?" I'm like, oh, "So I really have to interface with this Facebook thing, I guess." So, I'm How am I supposed to, to get 25 to... people? There's there's only 30 <laughs> people that live in your town. Yeah, and like two of them <laughs> use me as a as a business. So you know. what's what's the site, Eric? <laughs> Facebook.com slash Silicon Ranch? Yeah. Yep. I'm going yeah. over and liking you 25 now. 25 likes okay. would be great. All right, guys. I'll look in for and you. And you know what? If I, get, if I get double that, if I get 50 likes, I'll start actually posting stuff on it. Well, Make we don't want you to do that. that. We'll just, just we'll stop okay. at 25. Now you're but, but actually, I did. Don't be I did. greedy. Yeah. Well, <laughs> no, yeah. Well, I, did, I did say for, out of the top, the first 25 people who do it, I have two uh, memory cards. I'll send them in the mail. Not two to each person, but two out of the 25 people will get off, um, I think, a 16-gig um, USB stick. Damn, now you're getting Dang. into it. Except I'll, I can't find I'll your do page. do it for a 32. Get me really? two, Silicon Rich. The page Facebook. was not found. Get me maybe, two. Maybe I missed the, the window. Is it the Rich. Silicon Rich? I don't know. Oh, Let me look awesome. real quick. See what those jokers set up for you. Don't they even know how to make a Facebook page? And I want a 32-gig card, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't make me laugh. Don't make me laugh. <laughs> All right. No, um, those 16, um, while you debug that, that we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll make sure we get you hooked up before the end of the show, Eric. All right. Um, But what did I want to say? Oh, on the theme of right Star here. Wars, did you guys hear about these Star Wars blue? I'm not a big Star Wars person, but my brother was telling me about it. Did you hear about these uh, Star Wars Blu-rays that came out finally that people yeah. were waiting for? Did you hear about them? Yeah, people freaking are up in arms. Did you hear how mad? No. They... no. Apparently, George Lucas loves to mess with these films. Like all people want are like the originals, like on Blu-ray with good sound. You know, he just goes in and just freaking messes stuff up, adds all these things, removes scenes, changes things, and people just get freaking irate. They hate it because they're such fans of the movies, and he's going and changing things. Now, one of the things he did was that just really got people like freaking uh if you go to amazon and uh i think you just do a search for like star wars facebooks there's a scene in the return of the jedi when darth vader throws the emperor over like a, mm -hmm. a pit and the emperor falls down it's like probably the most climactic scene from what i've heard um i did watch it once but i can't remember in the whole series it's like the scene you wait for Mm -hmm. He put in, he dubbed in, and I heard it's not even good dubbing in, of when Vader throws him over the railing, Vader yells, no, because he felt like he shouldn't have done it. Like It actually doesn't make any sense. He Vader throws oh, yeah. him over the railing and then yells, no. And that is the thing that people are just flipping Ooh. about. Yeah, you yeah. can't do Two that. Point, I don't know how to change any of it. That's, yeah. You can't do that all the time. That, that's the, the original. Well, the classic example is New Hope, Han Solo in the bar. Han shot first because right. he was a pirate. Right. And in, and in the remake, no, can't do that. It's not politically correct. For so children. So they made the alien shoot first. Yeah, he wanted to make, uh, the explanation was like he wanted to, to, children to realize that, you know, you should not shoot first in that type of situation. Oh, the, God. The guy was going to kill he, he, Han. I mean, he, he was, was going to kill wow. him. I mean... And and let's not all forget, he was on a different planet. Yeah, right. Laws are different there. <laughs> yeah, and who cares? <laughs> who cares? <laughs> it's the uh, it's the complete saga episode one through six Blu-ray. It got two stars out of fifteen hundred and thirty-one reviews. Wow, it's like ninety <laughs> bucks too. Yeah, if you, and if you read the first review. Um, well, no, that's not it. The girlfriend test versus the fanboy. There's people, you'll see people in their titles go, I don't want my Vader to scream, no! Yeah, okay, here's it. So this is how Star Wars dies with a hilarious, a thunder, or with a thunderous, no! And so, uh, so apparently he made the Ewoks blink now. They have eyelids and they blink. Oh. <laughs> like so we crap. got HP, we got Netflix, and we got Lucas. <laughs> yes, what is yeah. happening? What happened to the technology well, he's been doing that for world? Years. 
He's been doing that for years. Yeah. Honestly, I, I've uh, said in yeah. the past, I'd like to punch a couple people in the gut. I'd like to punch Lucas in the gut. Yeah. I think for he, all the changes he made. I think he needs a good punching. But you know I what? So, I give him some credit. Give him some credit here. Let's let's relate him to Chris for one second, okay? Oh. <laughs> no, hear me out. Hear me out. Chris might actually agree with me on this. So this Lucas, Lucas, <laughs> sorry if, there, if, any, if anyone's offended here. Lucas, well, ha, he has these movies, right? And they are like his thing. And he, it's his most successful thing. Um, and he, this is what he has and he holds on to. He has the ability to, to mess around with these things and change these things. So how I relate to Chris is like, okay, Chris buys something. Maybe he gets bored with it or, or doesn't want it anymore and buys another gadget. Lucas had the only gadgets Lucas has that he can mess with are his movies, and that's he just takes his power and abuses it because he gets bored. I think of how they are, or he thinks he wants to improve them. That, that doesn't really relate to you, Chris. I'm sorry, it was a terrible analogy, but that's what I'm thinking. I think that Lucas has these movies, and he knows he can mess with them. They're his babies. They're what made him famous, and that's all he does. He just sits in his room and plays with them all day. Well, yeah. I'll just say. He doesn't have to change them. If anyone actually knows, okay, a lot of people don't. They keep saying how this movie's the top grossing, that movie's the top grossing, Harry Potter set a record, all this kind of garbage. That's because they don't count the number of tickets sold. They count the amount of money that it's brought in. If you count the number of tickets sold, no movie in the history of movies can beat Star Wars. Yeah, Period. But, well, that's a good fact, but... I don't think he's using reason here. He does, I know well, no, everyone right. knows he doesn't have to change these movies. Right. I'll buy them still. Give me the originals. I'll happily buy the originals. Originals. If, originals. Yeah. If I had a Blu-ray player, I'd buy those in a second. Mm -hmm. But he's, I yeah. don't, so I'll stick with the DVDs I got. Yeah. My brother did. He found he when he realized these were coming out. He went out and bought like the original the, the original set that he could. Right. But they weren't. They're not well, yeah. Blu-ray. They weren't Blu-ray. Well, that was one thing that. Sh sj geek taught me there was a a series of dvds that were out that were actually everything was original 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 with no special changes yes. or anything to right it. and that's what i want to buy right exactly you know? now could you imagine buying the original originals on blu-ray like all the only thing that they did was just increase the definition of them you know oh dude in there swimwear exactly <laughs> i have the vhs's the original VHSs of the three. Uh, I have the original ones cool. before they messed with them. Because uh, right. there's a second set, the THX set, that right. they messed with. Yeah. I have those first ones. My first ones are getting screwed up, though, because I watched them when I was a kid lots and tons and stuff. So they're 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 not the best quality, but they're originals nonetheless. I've held on to them. Yeah, I would stick. I would continue to hold on to them. I'll probably yeah, the problem something. is, you know what? I don't own a VHS player. My VH play, a VHS player died. And I was like, well, crap. I'm not buying another VHS player, right? I've got like about 25 movies that I just look at and go, but that'd be fun to watch. Crap. I know. Wait, Just wait for the converter to come out. There's going to be a device where you throw a VHS tape in and it just immediately converts to digital. I'm sure they have them. Yeah, but... I just want something cheap for, yeah, something I can pick up at like a dollar store, a loony yeah. rent. <laughs> awesome. All right. Uh, I lost track again. Who are we off to? I think it's me. Okay, go for it. Okay, uh, huh. I got tons of stuff this time for some reason. Okay, which one am I going to pick? Let's pick... Do What do you guys want to hear about? Do you want to hear about uh, business stuff? Or do you want to hear about just, you know, stupid stuff? Um, uh, that's a tough st choice. I say stupid <laughs> stuff. Stupid. and Okay, stupid, stupid. stuff. It's... it's uh, this is just something I've I've been doing lately, and it's been really interesting to me. And that is, uh, I've got this like fascination with Kevin Mitnick. And mm. The guy cool. is freaking awesome, right? He's like, his whole life story was. Can you tell awesome. us a quick little background of him for people who don't yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. So uh, he's pretty much uh, he he started hacking and doing something called phone freaking. Uh, back in like the seventies, and phone freaking was screwing around with the phone lines back in the in the days when the phone lines were like uh, all 100% analog and you had right. to do it the old way where it was like, you know, you put your finger in and go, and, and you know, it was the whole, whole, whole rotary dial thing. And, uh, you know, it, it was like the real days when you'd call the operator and they'd actually pull a wire out of one hole and stick it in another <laughs> hole and like totally like old school stuff. That's when he started 
and he started screwing with the phone companies and getting free phone calls and and doing just you know 